disclaimer, all games are available at Amazon on May 13. By the time you watch this video, prices may have changed. In number 5 we have Alien Isolation for $17.99. If you are a fan of Alien films, well my friend, don't take any chances and go and play this game. Because this game was a big big surprise for me on the upside. This game was not being very well reviewed, the reviews were very bad. Um, all the consecrated uh, YouTube channels and all those consecrated gaming entities all spoke very bad of this game and I bought this game on promotion and I did not regret one single minute of this game so if you are an alien fan go and buy this game you will not regret it Alien Isolation on May 13 you can find it on Amazon for $17.99 go and buy it in number 4 we have Dragon Age Inquisition for $19.96 well, I personally never played this game, but this is one of the games that is on my check mark. I will have to play this game. This game looks very sick, yet awesome reviews. All the fans of the genre really love this game and I think it's a real challenge for those who already played it. So this is one game that is on my list for sure. One day I will buy it, not even perhaps even now. So on May 13 you can find on Amazon. Dragon Age Inquisition for 1996. And number 3 we have Far Cry 4 for 1748. So I don't need to explain what Far Cry is. It's an open game. It's a first person, well, shooter if you can say it. And if you love the genre, if you if you never played Far Cry 4 but you have played Far Cry 3 and you're interested in playing Far Cry Primal, well, give Far Cry 4 a chance because you can buy this game now, you can play it and if you like it then you can upgrade for Far Cry Primal and perhaps at the time when you buy it, when you play it, perhaps the game is already cheaper. So on May 13, you can find on Amazon Far Cry 4 for $17.48. And on number 2 we have Shadow of Mordor for $19.40. Well, this game was a very, very nice surprise. By the time I bought it, because you now like every fan or every regular person, so to speak, everybody likes the Lord of the Rings saga, and I'm no exception. I'm not a hardcore fan, but I like the movies. So I decided to give Shadow of Mordor a chance, and I did not regret one evil second of it. The game is very good. I think it went under the wing of many people, of many gamers, and they let the people just let this game pass by them. This is a very good game, he has a good story, he has the nemesis basis, so it's very nice, very fun combat. This game is definitely, even if you're not a Shadow or Lord of the Rings um, fan, you need to give this game a chance. This is a very good game. So Shadow of Mordor at Amazon on May 30, you can find it for 1940. Before announcing the number one game for me under 20 bucks, here is the question for the giveaway of the Shadow of the Beast. And the question is, what was in the package of the release of the Beast 3? Once again, what was in the package of the release of the Shadow of the Beast 3? That's the question. Good luck. If you have been following my channel, this is now a no-brainer. I'm a huge fan of God of War series and I'm so hyped they will announced it on this this e3 that would be so awesome so number one we have god of war 3 for 1903 what a stupid price but that's what it is it's 1903 on amazon on may 30 so if you have never had any contact with god of war series well try to play the others one before this one because the story is all connected if you don't have any chance to play the other, the other God of Wars, well, play this one anyway. This game is epic, epic. I just love Kratos and the old Greek mythologic. It's just so good. So, on May 30, you can find on Amazon this epic game, God of War 3 for 1903. Who the fuck gives these prices? 1903? Are you serious? Come on.